Hi guy, uh, I thought I'd fire up the uh, CD32 again because uh, I had a request from Sedge White to have a look at uh, a game called, I think it's Super Skid Marks. Now I haven't actually got the first one on the compilation CD but I do have the sequel which is Skid Marks 2. So uh, yeah, I thought we'd fire it up and have a go. No, I do, I do, I, sorry, I did actually play this back in the day because I can remember going to uh, Manchester. There we go, read CD. Sorry, yeah, going into Manchester and uh, picking it up from game at the time. It was pretty cheap, I think it was only about uh, 10 quid. Oh, that's cool. You get a nice mini version of Pong. Right, and we're off. Computer, two, one, go. Oh, it's incredibly springy. Actually, I, I did play this back in the day and I actually remember being quite good at it. <laughs> but uh, it was thinking of one of the first 3D racers possibly. So the first game was one of the 3D racers for the, for the Amiga. And this got rave review at the times. Oh, I'm not doing too well. It's very, uh, it controls pretty well, but it's very slip slidey when you go around the corners. And obviously, as the further on you get in the game, I think you can uh, change the cars and stuff for the different tracks. Oh god, I'm sucking bad. And there goes the horn. Hey, I'm not going to win this one in a hurry. 15.8. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? At least it goes to show I can use the other fire button on the on the pad. Oh, that's not what it's about. Come on. Oh god. <laughs> that sucked big time. Race again. Let's change cars. What's that grunty zippy? Try that. You see there you've got HD install. Because you can put the entire game on the hard drive if you had an Amiga with a hard drive sorry, hard drive, which I will be having soon. Uh, despite having problems, I've got in touch with that uh, eBay seller after a bleeding week of pestering and uh, he finally sent me a full invoice for all the stuff I actually wanted. Bloody hell that's fast. Uh, anyway, I, I paid and he's actually said well he's claimed he's posted it out, so Oh god. <laughs> That's uncontrollable. I think we'll be changing the car speed after this relap. And I'll do a different track as well. Come on. Oh. Oh god, don't I get some ground on that. I can't seem to uh, change the cars on this version besides the actual colour, so. I mean, I vaguely remember there actually being different type of cars, like uh, 4x4 trucks. There we go. Come on. So, change cars. Rippy, slippery, pedal car, custom, classic will do. Okay. Oh, bloody hell, it's putting straight back on the same track. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's like lean dodgems. Well, actually, it's quite a lot easier to play now. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, squeeze through. Obviously, without the other fire button, I have no brake. So I can't power slide around the corners. Assuming there is actually a brake. Last, last. We're not going to be last this time. Come on, seven, six. Fifth. My God! Third! Second! My God, this is gonna do, this is gonna do it! Whoa, he didn't have to send me flying then. Come on, sunshine, come on, come on! Oh, I thought that was the last lap, bloody hell! Yeah, one of the main benefits of this is, especially back in the day, is you would get loads of, uh, Magazines with like uh, demos add adding free tracks onto the game. It, it was pretty customizable. Hey, we won! <laughs> that was pathetic, wasn't it? <laughs>
But anyway, let's change tracks. Uh, what shall we have? That looks complicated, but that one's nice and green. It looks different. Watch now as it whirs off at speed. And we're off again. Two, one, go! I'm not 100% sure. There might even be a, a track editor included with it, with this one. I'm not sure if it did it in the first, but... I'm not sure. I think the first one was actually released on the uh, Sega Mega Drive as well. And I think because... Oh, that's how I'm remembering now, because some of the cars were, were shaped like uh, cows with wheels on. Yeah, it's, it's pretty odd. Well, that's well, it is a pretty fun race. Uh, I mean, the level I've got it set at, I mean, it's uh, a bit poor, but... It's well worth picking up. I'd give it probably a four out of five. Ooh, round again. So I like this, nice big long straights. A bit of wobble there. It'd be great if some of the cars had turbo boosts on. But yeah, I did, I did think Suburban Commando was going to be my last uh, CD32 video, but I thought I might as well squeeze this one in. I'm about to uh, unplug it all and take the old uh, photos for eBay for when I come back off holiday. I'm not selling it before I go, because it'll be sods law or uh, something will happen and go wrong in the post and I'll end up with negative feedback. I mean, overall, the CD32 was a, uh, it was an okay system, but you can just do everything with the standard Amiga. And it's just generally better, I, I find. Sorry, the, the Amiga's just generally better. Right, let's have another, I've got time for another track, we're up to seven minutes-ish. Uh, match race, let's see what, what's that? let's have a look at a championship. See how, California. That's the one I was talking about, the cows. Oh, it's loading. <laughs> I did uh, actually open up the CD32 uh, a few weeks ago and just gave it a good clean out inside. And it has helped, whoa, it has helped a bit. It's uh, It loads a bit quicker now. Still not as fast as you would want it to, but... You know, compared to how it was before, I think uh, you can't complain. Bloody hell, this is almost unplayable. Come on, lad. I don't think I'm going to win this championship. Look at that cow go. As you can see there, you can't go the wrong way because when, you, when you're on part of the track, you shouldn't be going round. There's like an invisible wall you just bounce right off. Which you can't, you can't really use to your advantage. Because it just stops you dead when you hit it, which is a shame. There, come on, come on. Oh, sneak through there, sneak through. Oh. I'm actually tempted to pick this up on the, uh, the Mega Drive, because it'd be interesting to see what they actually did with it. Third. Second. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> Who needs a turbo boost with speeds like that? It does remind me of that uh, 4x4 game on the NES, is it uh, Super Ivan Hose or something? I don't know. That was with uh, Monster Trucks, that was a lot of fun too. Hey, we won at that speed and all! Well, we're almost out of time, I'll just have a. Let's just have a quick gander. See if there is a track editor. No, it doesn't look like it. Maybe there was on a different different version or a different software release, I don't know. Anyway, there's quite a few options. What's that? Low res, high res. Hasn't really done much difference, has it? Let's have a quick look at match race before we finish. Whoa! <laughs> So that's, no that's low res then, bloody hell. 
So this is probably why it was playable on my Amiga 600 back in the day. But I could have sworn it was closer up in the view, so I don't know. Anyway, it makes a difference. As always guys, thanks for watching and I will do my best to post another video soon.